Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe J. Jr. and welcome to another episode of Pomade Reviews. So, no, that doesn't touch my head too much. Okay, so, anyways, um, today's video, we're going to be checking out something I've seen a lot, but I've never really tried. Um, I usually get, excuse me, I usually end up getting most of my hair products from Sally's. Uh, that's where I got a lot of the Suavecito products. I went and I got the American Crew from there. A lot of the products I get at the moment are currently local because a lot of the online shipping stuff is taking for, forever. Like I purchased some stuff a couple months ago and it still hasn't even delivered. That's mostly because of this whole COVID-19 stuff. And while I'm on that, you know, I hope you guys are staying safe. Definitely stay six feet apart and keep those masks on. Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out Barberies by Sibel. I hope I said that right. Uh, so let's open this up. Oh, and real quick, if you guys are new, you guys are, if you guys are uh, returning subscribers or if you're new, usually the way I rate these pomades is on a scale of good, bad, or okay. I might rate it with numbers depending on how mixed I feel about the product. So right off the bat, you guys can already see the light doesn't block it too much it's pretty much clear now I've used pomades that are similar to this and uh, um, I'd say by the smell I like the smell a lot more than I like the American crew if you guys haven't seen that video check it out right here um, it smells really clean you know like when you just get out of the shower but it's very it's faint it's not overwhelming so if you're a person that likes to put on cologne or uh, so any fragrance on your clothing or on yourself you know so a product like this with a very faint smell would go great with that because typically you don't want to be mixing your scents around because you never know if that's gonna work out or if that's gonna backfire on you so it's very clean smells good now the part we've all been waiting for actually testing this product out so as you guys can already see my hair is already damp usually with these things you guys whenever applying a pomade Definitely make sure that your hair is at least damp. You can do it with dry hair, but me personally, I just don't like the tug of the comb because if you apply pomade onto dry hair, your hair is gonna experience a lot of pulling. Also, you guys can kind of see I got a haircut. You know, it's not super drastic, but it's kind of like a undercut. I was gonna get a... <laughs> My dad didn't like the fact that I had a ponytail and the long hair was kind of getting annoying in the back. Uh, so that's why I cut it. So let's start this out. Finger full. Um, very smooth, kind of like a, a gelatin almost. It's not really tough and uh, it doesn't, breaks apart, wait. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I think this, I think this product's worth it just for the sound alone. Uh, okay. Kind of feels like it already dried up. So I'm gonna get that everywhere. I think we're gonna need a little bit more. So when applying a pomade, guys, always remember to start out towards the back or the front, but mostly for the back. I kind of start out more towards the front just because my hair is more longer towards the front. And always remember to really get that throughout your hair. So how have you guys been doing so far? I know with this whole COVID-19, the whole world's kind of just, ugh. So I hope you guys are staying safe, you know. Let me know how you guys are doing and if you guys have any suggestions on any future products you guys want me to review. Uh, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to see some any different type of content, maybe similar to the product reviews, uh, let me know. Anyways, getting the comb. A little bit of tugging. But it's virtually nothing. It's, got, it's a little sticky feels a little sticky mm. ok 
Okay, so, so far, it's keeping the hair down, I think. I think I might actually need to get even more. This product is really sticky. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but. That's weird, that's the first time I've ever had to apply more than just two fingerfuls of a product. Gonna distribute that all around. So you guys can already see it's kind of giving like a very sleek, very put together. Okay guys, so it looks like as far as the combing is concerned, I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna get this product off my hands. You guys already know the drill, I'm gonna be gone for like three to four hours and I'll come back and we'll see how this is, how this product worked out. Anyways, I'm gonna see video else, I will be back. Okay guys, so time is up. Uh, I kind of have like a mixed feeling about this product, like the, the smell from the beginning is like it's gone pretty much now. Um, I know people complain about like certain products leaving their hair either just really crispy or having build up. This one doesn't do it, but it feels a lot like a hair gel. like. It's kind of in between of being like a really soft hold and like a crispy hold. And if you guys don't know what I mean by crispy, it's sort of like that hardened feel that most gels give you. It's kind of in between that, but like when I touch my hair, it's very waxy and I don't really like that. I feel like the hold isn't the best. And I feel like this is definitely more of a product for people with shorter hair. Cause I don't know, it's just doesn't, isn't really working with my hair. I really don't like the way it feels. Uh, I don't really like this product. I mean, if you guys want to try it out, maybe you already use this product and you feel like it isn't justified, then let me know what you think about the product. But as always, remember this is my opinion and if you guys want to try these products out yourself, then definitely do so. I'm not trying to bash on this company or this specific pomade, but it's just not really for me. So if we were to rate it, on good, bad, or okay. I'd say it's meh, kind of in between, just because I feel like this is made for shorter hair. It doesn't really specify, it just says Barberies by Sybil Pomade, and then it just says Pomade in different languages. Mm. I mean, it gave like a matte finish as well not too high of a shine which is more common for other pomades so if you guys want to try this out if you guys have shorter hair and you guys want a more uh, matte finish then definitely try this product out but if you're a person with longer hair kind of like me where your hair goes down to almost like your lower lip I'd say try one of try a different product uh, but yeah anyways damas y caballeros ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope you guys have an amazing day because you guys are all amazing people. And if you guys would like to make my day even more amazing, check out these videos right here and subscribe right down here. Anyways, I'm Joe J Jr. And I am out. <laughs>